Here, Mike is 14 years old, and I'm 25. Once that bell rang, it was time to go to war. Custom Auto was his mentor, his teacher, legal guardian, and Custom Auto felt very strongly that for a fighter to be a really good fighter, he must fight frequently and often, because that's how he learns his business. I don't think it's the reason because the fighters are not good enough or anything. They just don't like to come to a camp and train real hard and spar hard. They like to take it easy. They like to beat up on their sparring partners and get the better. But that's forced confidence, I think, when, the, when, they, when you know the sparring partner's not giving his all, and you're in there just hitting on them, using them as a punching bag. He's good. Yeah, he's good. Someday you'll be able to say it's hard with him. I do. I did hope that you'd be able to come around and get it. Falls in. Get your head free. That was good. There you go. Use that chair. See, come on, punch. Don't put your arm around. That's it. That's it. I'm just afraid to spring away and right back in. No good, nothing's happening. That's it, that's it, good, good. One more. That's it, that's it. That's it. That jab, that's it. Have a jab. Be ready to pass and get right back. A lot of life, Dion. That's time, work. What does it feel like? Let's see. A couple of sledgehammers, you know, hitting you on each side. Michael's big virtue is uh, he, he hits you with everything. This is my job. I'm not going to go on the street and beat up anybody. You know, this is my business. Boxing is the hurt business. I just want to be the best at what I do, and that's fighting. And I just want to conquer, conquer, conquer. Like Napoleon wanted to conquer, like Kukla Khan wanted to conquer. I want to conquer. Truancy. He got my private tutor and gave him books about Joe Lewis, Jack Dempsey, Napoleon, and Alexander the Great. But D'Amato also gave Tyson a boxing education, showing how mental discipline can make a champion, and that a man's natural fear can be used as an ally. Trainer Kevin Rooney explains. You use your discipline to, to control the fear and fight him. He's in there fighting, and some guy's trying to take his head off, so that makes it even more fearful for a fighter. Once you learn to control your emotions, though, and, and, and push that out and just go in and take care of business, the fear becomes your friend because the fear gives you the adrenaline and the drive to do things, so step the spring to the side, and punch hard and fast, because you got this fear, but it's, it's your friend. You see the power, you see the knockouts, you see the speed, you don't see the smarts. I mean, he has power and speed, that's all good. I mean, these are all good attributes, but it's his looseness, it's that he can make a guy miss. Nothing is more frustrating for a fighter when he can't hit the other guy, and he doesn't know why, and then he can hit back. He's bringing excitement back. To be excited, you make a guy miss, you punch right back. The public loves to see that, especially a big man. Move his head and punch right back. Michael is ability-wise head, heads and shoulders above the rest of the division. And, I, and I don't, as a trainer, and I look at I don't see anybody out there. I don't see nobody out there that, that, that can beat him. No doubt one of the best athletes who ever went into the ring. A great puncher. That is Mike Tyson in the tights. So strong. He wears those tights to keep the legs warm. 
Mike was taken under the wing of the legendary boxing manager. Heavyweight should include in his talent elusiveness. Colcia, he'll fight again next Friday night against Lorenzo Boy. Then two weeks later, it'll be Marvin Frazier. Marvin Frazier, the son of the former heavyweight champion, Joe Frazier. All right, but he's stunning with either hand, knocking out 11 opponents with left hooks and 10 with straight rights. It was a lifelong trait of the shy and retiring Cuss while he was recognized as a great fight manager. Mike is now being trained by Kevin Rooney while his manager is... The job is sparring partner. every case, the relationship between Tyson and his partners is generally confined to the gym. Great upper body movement. act to watch when he was in shape. I used to see him in the gym knocking people out, knocking guys out. Bah! Mike used to knock out somebody every day of the week, sometimes two guys. Gus used to say, said, don't knock everybody out because you wouldn't have nobody to spar with. Believe it or not, as ludicrous as it may sound, I might have done it for nothing. For Mike Tyson, if most fighters can't last more than one round with Tyson, why would you want to box with him every day? You get top pay travel, you get to see the country, and you get treated well. There's a lot of advantages here. It's like a, a fight. You, you, you rib yourself up, you get yourself geared up to actually face this guy every day. And you look to try to hurt him because he's trying to hurt you. I always make it a point to say, look, I want you to go out there, and I want you to do the best you can do. I want you to go out there, and I want you to hold him back. This isn't a sparring match. I tell him, you, my guy's here to fight. My guy's going to go hard. He must do nothing but concentrate on nothing but Mike Tyson for three minutes. And before you get in the ring, you have to really prime yourself up for that. If you don't, then that could create problems for you. I've had guys walk right out. I had one guy walk right out. That was it, boom, boom. He didn't even work to get paid. Some of them say, well, this ain't for me. And they go. Or they don't come back, you know. They say, I'll call you, and they never call. We call them, and they got to work, they got a job, they got this or they got that. I train the way I fight. If someone comes to box with me and they're not serious, I think they're making a very foolish mistake. I think the best profit of it is when you have a sparring partner in there that's not intimidated and is throwing punches and trying his best to get the edge and win. Like it's a fight, trying to knock you out. Mike Tyson is currently preparing for a fight on November the 8th in Las Vegas, who maintains he's innocent, will probably remain free on bail. Tyson's camp, meanwhile, says the indictment will not affect the match for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. David Foster, TVAM News, Washington. Yet for some time now, it's been clear that things have been going better for Tyson in the ring than out. And it's wow, that's entertaining. But then when you when you make it to the level where you can look at them in their eye and you can make your own decision, that's no longer accepted in life. And his relentless power while sparring 
as he prepares for his comeback match with Henry Tillman. But there's been a significant change in the professional life of Mike Tyson. His corner, which receives so much criticism in Tokyo, is under new ma Marital troubles, mother-in-law troubles. He was fighting with Bill Caton. And what did he do? He went into the ring and knocked out Michael Spinks in 91 seconds. Whether he's sincere or simply masking the fact that he has everything to lose in this fight, guts to jump off and do something about it if he's going the wrong way. But for now, when Mike Tyson talks about the reality, physically he's ready because emotionally his pride was burned and he doesn't want to ever get embarrassed again. I find it very difficult, very hard, like to go out from How about your condition now? Greatest condition ever. Great, feel good. My trainer's Jay Bright and Aaron Snowell. He got me in tip-top condition. Well, they've been training me very hard, mm -hmm. and I probably ran over a thousand miles, if not more, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm in great condition. Mm -hmm. But every champion has a weak spot. Tyson's could be in his corner, where once the fatherly figures of Jim Jacobs and Cus D'Amato supported yeah. in charge, actor Jay Bright, a school friend of the champ, but short on professional know-how. Tyson says he trusts him, but could this be the chink in the champion's armor? Hey! Well, I've been at it. I've been training for at least three months, I think it was. And it's good to be back. I mean, it's very difficult at the beginning. Right there. Yeah. Contrary to some reports, Tyson already looks awesomely fit in this Las Vegas training session. Now, you've got a new trainer. Does that mean that there's a whole new training system for you? Well, not basically. I mean, the trainer basically puts me in condition. And I have another, my, my dear friend, Jane Bright, who grew up with me and trained up in the Catskills. And he's going through the same drills with me that Cus went through. And he come along very well. He was only a pound or two over his fighting weight with more than two weeks to go to the fight. The thing that stuck out a mile was that Tyson, after all his problems, was back doing the thing he most enjoys. It's a new team with more members than before, some of them getting their first taste as boxing professionals. And some think Rooney's association with Tyson Tag! Mike Tyson's eyes, you're going to see confidence and anxiousness to uh, hurry up and get it on and, uh, and to try to physically do damage as quick as possible. Most experts agree that too many people wanting too much from Tyson too soon is the wrong way to go and potentially dangerous for the former champion. That would take. The young Tyson made good the promise of the late Customato and is confident of keeping his title in this, his eighth defense. He was let loose in professional fighting only four years ago. Mike Tyson has ruled with a reign of terror. 35 straight wins, 31 knockouts. The youngest heavyweight champion in history. Some say his toughest opponent is the man he sees in the mirror every morning. A marriage breakup, speed and devastating punching already make him the greatest since Ali. <laughs> Come on. Bring it up, bring it up. Work now, work. You don't fear no man. Work. If Mike would have thrown two more punches, you never would have heard of Razor Ruddick. He'd have had to come all the way from the bottom and come all the way back up again. So this gave Razor Ruddick another chance. And after June the 28th, it's all over with him from before, and he has to go back down to the basement. The only thing he's getting out of it, he's being rewarded. He's being paid very well 
for it. So that kind of compensation for taking an ass beating isn't too bad. I'm not like a ruthless, bloodthirsty fighter. It's just that I have no emotion when it comes to my job. You know what I mean? When to lose, you know what I mean? You can't take, you can't be personal. You can't you feel sorry. Right back with you. Right back with you. Don't wait. There you go. I honestly believe that you know, he knows for a fight. He knows that victory tonight will earn him a showdown with either George Foreman or Evander Holyfield, who meet next month. That could be the biggest money fight of all time. Not that Tyson will be doing badly from this meeting. ...out all before him as he first carved out his awesome reputation. He fought like a wild beast then. Nothing much has changed. Come on, bing bing! Come on, man. He's just not hard enough and um, mentally. I'm confident that I could beat the guy. A stand on him and uh, the pressure, you know, he will fold underneath the pressure. Mike is in good physical shape. You know, this is not a sport where you're kissing each other, you know, making love. I mean, it's a, it's a violent sport, and it's, it's an art, and it's, you know, hit and not get hit and destroy your opponent. So the thing is, when it comes to that face, he's a great gladiator. Up the stick. There's nobody on this planet can do Past is over with. And, you know, and that's something that's not going to, you know, we, we don't talk about that. We only talk about the future. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Kristen Maxwell. Okay, let's see what Mike does here. Oh, oh, oh. oh he drops T Rex oh, in the first it's round. Insane, man. He hit him. He hit him. Caught him with a good right hand. He's got a pretty good pace going, pretty good sparring session. Digging body shot by Mike. Mike Tyson is better than 100% most of these guys now. You know what? I like the movement that I'm seeing for Mike. If Mike could fought some of the three more rounds to go here, Corey parring with the left hand. I always like to perform and. Hard, work hard for the money. Oh, good so you've got player. to make it work the wild. Mike is, uh, is showing some nice movement, but remember, this is a 40-year-old Mike Tyson. Remember, this is a sparring site, and it's not for real. I never saw we're in the gym. Now, there's Mike with a looping right hand, but Corey... Uh, That's the point. Gene He's Tony, not the only one who's done it. They've done it. I would like to see Corey drop a right hand on him. Oh, come Mike, out. Mike from the truck yelled my ear. Putting any pressure on him. You know, with oh. Mike not wearing a headgear, they may have Tyson wearing headgear because Sterling and the cut because they have a fight schedule for... Oh, oh, oh nice oh. right hand. Oh. Mike. When he throws, he still has the intensity Yes, like he this. does. There's Tyson showing some intensity here. Some of the movements we're seeing, but Jordan watching Mike Tyson I, I like to see him drop Corey Sanders with a good shot of Corey Sanders. Is it making him a great exhibition? Like, no, he's not. He's dipsy oh, doing by Mike. Boom! That double bang, that double body, but hey! What we expected but entertainment. And I am entertained by the by the fact that I love seeing. You know, Colonel, I always say though, I. I, I so Mike is giving us the best possible throw he can. And nobody's leaving that. No. Nobody's not leaving. Left. <laughs> you know, Tyson throw these oh, big body shots oh. that everybody wants to see. Oh, it's a glorified Spartan session, but entertaining. And that gets the crowd's attention. Oh. So Mike isn't holding back one bit. And of what a devastating punch he was in his youth. And of course, the fighting guy to any opponent to face. And he no, one of the guys that Trek Jen said, it's, it's, a, it's hard to you know, it's it's imagine. Look at that. The uppercut. Paying the price. And I hope they're giving him a good payday. Mike trying to entertain the crowd. He said he would. What Mike Tyson was like when he was really boxing well, because he oh, was so oh, bad that he let, oh, that, one. He let oh. that one fly. Yeah, Corey Sanders. Oh, oh man, <laughs> he might have done better. Well, you know, but also, but there's no pressure here. You know, yeah, that's fight and relax. Mean, uh, by the handlers, and he's just uh, doing the catching on the end of the sparring session, and the crowd doesn't like it.